Hello everybody, it's Mysteria7, and for today's video, I am going to be ranking some 1.17 mobs, but, well, it's actually including 1.17 mobs, but anyways, I'm going to be ranking Minecraft mobs up until 1.17, that was better. And these tier lists were going around a couple years ago, and I never did one, so I thought I might as well do one, and what better thing to tier list than Minecraft itself? Well... The mobs, anyways. So we have seven categories here. I don't even know if I need seven categories, but we have the best mobs added to Minecraft. Almost perfection. When I typed that out, it, it typed out perfection weird. So I tried my best to fix it, but it wasn't fixed. So that's how that's going to be. Getting better. Okay, I guess. Mojang could have done better. Barf. And please delete. So let's just go ahead and get into this video the first mob is a bat which looks extremely weird but I will say that the bat is almost perfection because I don't really have anything bad to say about the bats except that they need a use they need some sort of use in the game but it's overall not a bad mob now bees bees are kind of cool but at the same time I don't like them because if you accidentally hit them, then that's it. That They're gone. Uh, I'm going to do getting better because I do like the bees. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool game mechanics and everything like that. But, yeah, it's just it's just the issue. Like It's kind of like an iron golem. If you hit them, they're done. Pretty much, I guess. I don't know. Blaze rods. I hate those. Barf. Definitely in the barf. Okay, so cave spiders. They're kind of barf, honestly. <laughs> I was thinking about putting them in. Mojang could have done better, but then again, the uh, like a poisonous spider in mine shafts. That's actually kind of that. That's pretty smart, pretty genius. So I'm gonna put them under barf. I don't think they should be deleted because uh, they they do add a, a little higher. Uh, level of something to the mine shafts. Chicken for me is the best, m one of the best mobs. Okay, fine. I'll do almost perfection because it's it's not the best mob, but I do love me some chickens in Minecraft. Next we have the creeper. Now the creeper is honestly kind of cool. Its face, it has a cool face. It's a nice face, but. The destruction of the creepers are terrible. I definitely don't think it's Mojang could have done better or below. I will do... I want to do okay, I guess. But I want to... I'll do getting better. Next, we have the dolphin. I'm going to put the dolphin in... In... Um... 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 Almost perfection. Because I like the Minecraft dolphins. And they do have some uses... Now the donkey, <laughs> I'm going to put the donkey under um, Mojang could have done better because the donkeys are super slow, but they could have done a little better with the donkey adding a little few, a few more traits and things in there. Now the drowned zombies, I'm going to do, I kind of want to put them in barf just because they sound gross. <laughs> The mob itself is really not an issue for me. Uh, I don't have a problem with it, but I'm going to put it in barf because uh, they sound disgusting. Okay, next we have the... Is this an Elder Guardian or one of the the other things? Whatever the heck they're called. I think it's the... Are they called Guardians? <laughs> we're going to say... No! We're going to say it's the ones who are guarding the guardians. Um, I will say okay, I guess. I mean, it's an interesting mob. That's for sure. It's very kind of like abstract and stuff like that. The Ender Dragon itself. Minecraft would not be a game without the Ender Dragon. Um, I definitely wouldn't say it's the best mob in Minecraft. That's for sure. I wouldn't say almost perfection because the Ender Dragon could use a lot of work. I will do getting better because the dragon is just such a crucial part of Minecraft to add literally beat the game. <laughs> and I don't know 
what Minecraft would be without a dragon, of course. That's just awesome. The design of it is awesome. It's it's amazing, but it's not almost perfection. The Endermen. Okay, Endermen are annoying, right? And if it's early game, they're going to kill you like that, unless you can get to cover or something. But Endermen are also kind of cool. I'm going to put them with the Ender Dragon. At getting bet no 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 I'm gonna put them with okay I guess because they're they're all right they're okay that's that's it Endermites okay I don't have too many encounters with Endermites I I have had my share of Endermites I'm gonna put them under okay I guess as well just to match the Enderman I don't care oh these guys are terrible are these the Vindicators I think the, 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 it's the Vindicators or the other dudes, uh, well, I can't think of words, but this mob, no, please delete, these are so, these are so terrible, in raids and in the mansion, they are just, they're so bad, I hate them so much, foxes, alright, Okay, <laughs> I would pop, put foxes in the best mobs added to Minecraft. I'm going to put them in almost perfection because I love the foxes very much. The white foxes, the normal foxes, every single kind of fox you could see in your entire life. I love them very much. The thing is, they need, they need more traits or just maybe more things you can do with the foxes because it's not a lot. So, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. This is the Elder Guardian. The Elder Guardian is, uh, please, no, barf. I would put please delete, but, like, what would they put in replace of the Elder Guardian? I don't know. I'm gonna put it in barf because the mining fatigue for four minutes is garbage, Mojang. But this is the actual Guardians, or whatever the heck they're called, and I'm gonna put them in okay i guess so there we go we got that fixed i'm sure many of you were yelling at me for that but that's okay next we have horses just boring old horses i would say you know what i will put it in the best mobs added to minecraft because i i can't think of more uses you can use a horse for than you already do in minecraft they're a great way of transportation if you can find a really fast one and i kind of like the breeding mechanics with like you won't, if you breed two fast ones, you'll get a fast one. If you breed a slow one and a fast one, it'll kind of be like 50-50. I think that's a great game mechanic. I think, I can't think, actually, you know what? I, I'm, I'm lying. Almost perfection for the horses because I just thought of something that's terrible. When you're riding on a horse and you're going through trees, that is the worst that you can ever do. So, horses get almost perfection because Mojang kind of needs a per perfect that mechanic of the horse because it's terrible the iron golem now i'm i don't want to put the iron golem in the best mobs added to minecraft but i can't think of anything that is that is bad other than if you accidentally hit the golem then he's gonna come after you uh but I, I, I don't know. I might change him later, but I'm going to put him in the best mob added to Minecraft because he, it, the Iron Golems are really good with protecting stuff and protecting villagers. The Llama. Llama. The Llama is a cool concept and everything. It's, it's really cool how they spit and make gross noises like that. Next we have Magma Cubes. Please delete the magma cubes are so bad. I hate them so much, especially in the basalt deltas. I never had a problem with them, but one time on the Minecraft SMP server, I almost died. Magma cubes, awful, awful, awful experience. You don't ever want to come across those guys. Okay, next we have a mule, which is pretty much like a hybrid horse type thing, which these are really cool. I'm going to put them under almost per perfection. Same reasons as the horse. It's definitely not worse than a donkey, but it's about the same level as a horse for the same exact reasons. Next we have pandas. I will do one of the best mobs added in Minecraft because pandas are actually really cool. 
uh, the game mechanics of the pandas are actually really cool. And they actually do have, like, self-defense. Like, if you hit them or something like that, then they'll attack you. Which, I mean, that's not always good, but it is a cool game mechanic that I really enjoy. Next, we have parrots. Alright, parrots, I, I'm gonna put... I'm going to put one of the best mobs added to Minecraft because parrots are actually really cool and although they don't have too many uses, I don't feel that parrots should have a lot of uses because I mean they're just they're just parrots, right? So parrots are really really good mobs and I I like them very much. Next we have the phantom which everybody seems to hate. But you know what I'm going to do? Right there one of the best mobs added to Minecraft is the Phantom, and let me tell you why. I actually don't have a reason, I just think they're pretty cool. And actually, they're not that difficult to fight if if you're, like, geared up and stuff. If it's early game, then yeah, I can understand how they can be annoying and stuff. But all you have to do is sleep. Like, seriously, they're super easy to take care of. All you gotta do is sleep. Uh, and beds aren't that rare in Minecraft, so pretty easy to get. That's all I'm saying. I'm not even kidding. It is one of the best mobs added to Minecraft. I like them very much. I've had my share of killing phantoms uh, to get phantom membranes, and it is a pain in some cases when when you're trying to kill them and they just they won't die or they swoop down. It is annoying to kill them. I'll be honest, but overall, I think they're a great mob. There you go. Next, we have the Polar Bear. Now, Polar Bear, you don't get much Polar Bear action in Minecraft, really. Um, but I'm going to put them in getting better. Next, we have Puffer Fish. I'm going to put this under Barf because the Puffer Fish are so, they're so trash, dude. I, I, I don't like them. I do like how when they look like that, it, they look like they have sunglasses. And that's, that's pretty nice. Alright, the Ravager. Now, the Ravager. Yeah, um. I'm gonna put the Ravager under getting better because it, it's a terrible mob. Like, it's, it's annoying to fight. It does a lot of damage. It's annoying to kill, first of all. It takes a long time to kill, but it does have. It, it's, it's a really good mob. <laughs> Shulkers. Okay. I will put Shulkers under. Getting better. Next we have Silverfish. Please delete Mojang. Delete the Silverfish. They are terrible. <laughs> they are so bad. Slimes. Okay. I would put Slimes under delete. They're not that bad. I'll put, I'll put Barf. Because this season of Minecraft SMP, it, it has just, it has made me have a hatred for slimes. Tropical fish. Okay, tropical fish are definitely better than cod and salmon. So I'm going to put them under getting better. Because it is. It is getting better. There, There's tons of tropical fish. There's tons of fish variants. But the problem I have with them is that you can only find them in coral reefs. Everywhere else, you only have cods and salmon. So they do need to add some more fish variants into the normal ocean and rivers and such. Okay, vexes. Oh my gosh. Vexes are terrible. Uh, along with your father who creates you, you are going to go into the please delete because those are terrible. I mean, if it wasn't for the vexes, this guy would not really be a problem down here. But these do exist, so you are a problem. Which actually, I guess I should put this in barf and these in delete. Because without them, he will be much easier to fight, if you think about it. So I'll put him in barf and them in delete. Next we have villagers, just normal boring villagers, which I'll put almost, almost perfect. The, the villagers are almost to perfection. I mean, they can give you some really good stuff, but uh, their nose could use some work. They need to go get a nose job with all of those emeralds I'm giving them. Next we have the Wandering Trader. I hear a lot of hate about these Wandering Traders. I'm going to put him in okay, I guess, because sometimes I can get some pretty good stuff from him. The issue is how fast he does run out of stuff. I can get like five 
what does he sell? Five pieces of sand, and then he's done selling that. So that is an issue I have with them. But overall, you can get some okay things from Wandering Traders if you have the emeralds, of course. Next up, we have normal wither skeletons. I'll put under okay, I guess, because well, actually, I'm gonna put them under Mojang could have done better. They could have done better with the spawn rates because. It's terrible. Either the spawn rates or the drop rates. Something needs to go up. I, I don't care which one. Now with the wither skeleton. <laughs> I mean, not the skeleton. With the wither. That's it. Just the wither. I'm also going to put Mojang could have done better. Because in Java, you can milk the wither fight so easily by by building a, by mining a tunnel. And fighting the wither through the tunnel. You can milk it so easily. But in bedrock... It's so difficult, even if you're in easy mode. So, the Wither needs some buffing, at least on the Bedrock side, because it's much more difficult to kill him. Next, we have Wolves, which I'm also going to put in. Mojang could have done better. Now, I know that this is a wolf and not a dog, but Minecraft, I mean, Mojang needs to add dogs as well as wolves, because wolves and dogs are two different things, although, yes, they are from the same descendant or or whatever whatever the heck it's called nowadays they do need to have more dog variants but people should not say that this guy is a dog he's technically a wolf which actually i'm gonna put him in getting better because the wolf itself is not bad it's just minecraft could bring some bring in some dog variants i'm gonna put the zombie in okay i guess because yeah it's one of the one of the basic and first minecraft mobs but at the same time, it's a really cool concept. When you think about zombies, you know, you think of, like, Call of Duty zombies, or you think of, oh, uh, what's that show called? The Walking Dead. You think of stuff like that. Um, unless, of course, you play Minecraft, then you think of the Minecraft zombies. At least I do. Actually, I think of Call of Duty zombies and Minecraft zombies whenever I hear the word zombies. But anyways, point is, Mojang did do a good job at changing kind of what you would possibly think or vision a zombie being which i really do like that that's my reasoning for that other than that i mean it, yeah it's just one of the first basic minecraft mobs nothing to it like a lot of these mobs and next we have the striders i am going to put the striders under one of the best mobs added to minecraft because the striders are really cool it's really cool how you can ride them across lava which of course you got to be careful with that a cool type of animal thing that minecraft has introduced very creative and very nice and i i like the striders oh yes the axolotl saving the three newest mobs for last and the axolotl is going to go to the very top right there the hands down the best mob in minecraft as of 1.17 as of right now in my opinion the axolotl is the king of all mobs ever created these aren't in any specific order by the way but if it was going to be i'd put him right there but for the sake of placing these in order i'm gonna do that but next we have the glow squid please delete i hate the glow squid now don't get me wrong i do like having like you know the signs glowing because you can see them much better i love that part of the glow squid but Overall, the Glow Squid is a terrible mob, and the Isolager should have won the vote. Yes, I'm not over that. <laughs> they don't even, they, they mostly illuminate. Now, if the Glow Squids actually were glowing, then maybe, just maybe, I would like them a little bit more. But, no. <laughs> and last, and definitely least, we have the Goats. <laughs> now, I would put them... Mojang could have done better, but they are still working on the goat, and we're still waiting for the goat horn, so I'm going to put them under okay, I guess, because the goat is not fully developed yet. <laughs> like, it's, they're not done with the goat, with the, with the goat, okay? And no, I'm not talking about Doc M77. The goat is, it, it's, it's still under progress, let's just say that. It's still in progress, and I, I think they're going to make the goat a little more useful in the future. But if this was the final stage of the goat, I would definitely put it under Mojang Could Do Better. But since it is not, I'm going to put it under OK, I guess, to uh, you know give it the benefit of the doubt. What is the... 
And there you have it. There is my tier list. So the best mobs added to Minecraft so far anyways is the Iron Golem, the Panda, the Parrot, the Phantom, the Strider, and the Axolotl. Again, not in that order. The first one would definitely be Axolotl. But anyways, and then the ones I think that they should delete are the Cod, the Husk, the Magma Cube, the Silverfish, the Vex, the Witch, the uh, piglin brute and glow squid but let me know in the comments down below what your tier list is you don't have to name every single mob maybe just tell me the best mobs you think and then the ones that minecraft should delete or maybe not delete maybe just mobs that you hate it, it doesn't matter just let me know in the comments down below tell me your number one favorite mob because mine is the axolotl thank you everybody so much for watching and bye Oh my god!